everyone, today we're on our way to Nesborough in North Yorkshire. We'll be visiting Mother Shipton's Cave and Nesborough Castle. We'll be staying at Bilton Park Village Campsite. If you follow the cycle track from the campsite, it's about a 40 minute walk into the centre of Knaresborough. The cycle track comes out right opposite Mother Shipton's Curve.
Recorded as being left here to Petrify in 1853. The steadily flowing water at the Petrifying Well is rich in calcium carbonate and calcium sulphate. It crystallises on objects and gradually hardens them. The full process only takes about three months to complete. Legendary cave where over 500 years ago a baby was born during a thunderstorm. 
The baby was named Ursula and was reputedly born disfigured and twisted. Townsfolk heard about the birth and said a witch had been born in the cave next to the magic well. Mother and daughter lived in this cave for two years until eventually the abbot of Beverly intervened. The mother, Agatha, still would not reveal the father's identity and volunteered to spend the rest of her days in a convent in Nottinghamshire. The father was never traced. The abbot found a local family to provide a home for the young Ursula. As she grew into a young woman, it was clear she was very different. Her spine was twisted, her shoulders haunched, and she was unable to walk without the aid of a stick. But Ursula had a gift. She could predict the future. She predicted small local events at first, but she developed her powers almost as quickly as her reputation spread. People travelled miles to visit her, here in this cave, and ask what the future held for them. The famous historian Samuel Pepys grimly recorded in his equally famous diaries during the Fire of London that Mother Shipton's prophecy had come true. At the age of 24, she married a local carpenter, Tobias Shipton. In the 1600s, Mother Shipton became a household name with many pubs named after her, public shows and fortune tellers using her name and image, even her own brand of soap. Before you leave, be sure to make a wish in the wishing well. Wishes have been made at the back of the petrifying well for hundreds of years. Many ministers come back regularly just to make a wish and swear they come true. <laughs> Museum, you can see a few of the items donated by famous people including John Wayne, Agatha Christie and Queen Mary.
Nesborough sits on the banks of the River Ned. There are a couple of places that you can hire rowboats from to go out onto the river. Rowing isn't for everyone and I suspect these two probably won't bother next time they visit. lunch at the Marigold Riverside Cafe. We would really recommend this place. The food was absolutely beautiful and the service was exceptional. The next day we set off for Nesborough Castle before heading home. Nesborough Castle is medieval and it also houses within its grounds one of the very few remaining Tudor courtrooms.
This trap door leads down to the cells. The main parts of the castle that we can see today date from the early 14th century.
really enjoyed Knaresborough, but you definitely need two or three days so they can get round and see everything. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment. We'll see you on the next video.